Hi, I'm Dave the RPA Guy and welcome to another episode of Let's Build. In part four of Monitor of Value, we will be making two actions for our object. Now we'd already made two actions before that we worked with um, Facebook with, but we're gonna be making two very common actions, the launch and attach actions. And those would be pretty familiar to a lot of you. Uh, but we're going to be making those so that we can finally move into working in Process Studio after this. Now, there are a couple things I want to mention about this video. The first thing is, as soon as we step into actually working on things, you'll see I'm not looking at the camera, and I might do that quite a bit throughout the video. If you can just look past it, that comes from years and years, uh, decades, in fact, of introversion. And so I tended to not look at the camera some while I was thinking really hard during this video. And uh, actually just kind of like I'm doing right now, the video is a little bit longer than it normally will be in this series because in this episode I do explain a number of things and I give examples of what would have gone wrong had I chosen a different path. And I, I left these in because I, I find them somewhat interesting, even when I went back and watched my own video. So I left them in. I hope that you'll, you'll find it interesting. The final thing I want to say is, if you watched my last video, you'll see that I chose document loaded in one of the wait stages. In fact, I ended up putting it in a couple of wait stages. Document loaded is still in this video because I haven't yet come back to fix it and change to parent document loaded. Just want to point it out so you're not misled on that. With that, let's go ahead and get started in the video. We're going to need at least a launch page and an attach page. Now this launch is going to So this launch is going to launch Internet Explorer. It's not going to necessarily be attached to a specific web app, but we're going to include it in these actions in the same object anyways. Uh, we're not going to publish it, right? Even though it's a temptation, you want to go ahead and oh, I'm going to publish it. No, 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 let's not. We're not going to worry so much about whether Internet Explorer is loaded already because there are there is a series of logic that you should implement based upon the application you're working with, whether you need whether multiple instances of that application are allowed or not. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that we will be closing Internet Explorer before running again. And if we run into a problem, then we'll we'll add in a stage to close Internet Explorer. Let's launch. Okay, so we're going to need a couple of data items, which will eventually take some dynamic inputs, but uh, this should actually be an environment variable, but we're going to put it here, i.e. path. Okay, if you worked with Blue Prism, you're probably familiar with typing i.e. path over and over and over and over again, which is why you need an environment variable. And then, uh, do we have it? Do we have it copied? No, we don't. Let's go in application modeler. It should be in here. Uh, right here. Okay. IE path. Launch IE. We'll drop this in. We'll do mm, launch. Okay. And here's where we're going to drop in that data item. Command line parameters. That would be like the URL we want it to go to, to start off. Yeah, why not? We'll, uh, we'll create that. Let's do, um, URL. That'll be fine. I'm going to take that out. We're going to put in the URL that we had in application modeler. We're going to leave this stuff here, even though, uh, eventually we'll make this dynamic enough so that it's not just using Facebook. We're, I'm going to leave this here because this is our, sort of our test website. This, we need the URL in here, that's right. So we'll type it this time. Both ways are fine. Drop it in or you can type it. As long as the reference is valid. Launch is just gonna launch Internet Explorer. It will navigate to this page just for funsies because we will we might navigate again later. Uh, so let's just do this. This will be fine, right? Because on the navigate page, we will check here to see that we're on the right page. Then we'll check again to make sure we're on the right page after that. We're gonna to have to attach after launching. That's what we'll do to ensure that we are on the right page. 
Okay, so we're going to need a page reference. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll pass the URL in as an input. For now, maybe we'll come back and change this later. Attach URL. That way, if we're looking, if we decide to look at all the variables in a big list together, you know, say show view all items, we'll have a deconfliction there. URL and attach URL. And I know that URL is the, the, the base one, the one that comes in originally. Okay. Oh, we don't need this. Okay, attach URL. And what we're going to do is attach. Every time I make an attach page, I seem to do it uh, differently. And I'm talking about when I'm when I'm testing. I try to keep it the same in anything that's going to go into a production environment, but I keep changing my mind about how I like attached page to, pages to work. Now I should mention here that if you are, especially if you're doing this for the, the, for the first time, it would be a good idea to look in the Blue Prism documentation in there. I th think it probably shows it in the best practices document about how to make attachment pages. And so I, I'm just going to try some different things here. Um, it might look very, it might look exactly like the best practices. I don't know. We'll see what comes out of it. The first thing we want to do is check to see if we are attached. Get uh, is connected. Connected. We'll create the variable from inside of this window. Drop it down here. Probably should change this. Get connected and we're storing this into connected to this one piece at a time maybe we should drop all the stages on there I know that we're gonna have to use a decision stage to determine whether we're connected is connected or we could just say connected put in connected okay if we are connected already, then we'll say we'll say connected already. If we are not connected, then we'll have to connect. Where is my navigate stage? Okay, we'll uh, we'll attach. Now, how are we going to attach to this? That's the question. Let's just Let's just do this simple by, instead of using window title, which could absolutely work. Um, if I, mean, I know it's Dave the RPA guy, if these are profiles and all profiles get a tab name of their profile name. Oh, look at that. We could do home, Facebook. We'll do it simple for now. We'll say, we'll just look for Dave the RPA guy. Maybe we should make this work for multiple profiles. We'll come back and do that. <clears throat> we'll need a star in there. We'll try it like this first. Let's see if it works. <clears throat> Attach to Dave the RPA guy. And then if it works, great. We'll just say Now, this is not only how my attached pages look like um, when I when I want them to actually be robust. I would normally have uh, I would normally have this try multiple times, but I don't expect it to fail. So for now, we're gonna leave it like this. And when it starts to fail, probably the first time it fails for the purpose of going get connected. Uh, is it connected? Yes. Ooh. Okay, go this way. If it's not connected, let's attach. Now, if we have if we fail here. Uh, which it, it should it should throw an error here if we have a problem, then um, Blue Prism will just throw an error and maybe we'll catch it at the process level. Let's say we launch Internet Explorer and then we're on the right page, but somehow we get to, we get disconnected from it. 
Okay, that's what we want to test. Uh, let's skip over, launch, and we're going to attach, get connected, false, and then attach more than one application match to the criteria. Right, okay. Let's throw in a child index of zero. I can never remember if it's zero or one, so we're just going to test it. Okay, the way we're going to test it here is to go into application modeler, add an element, identify something on the page, and it worked. Now let's go back and let's go, let's show you what would happen if I if I'd done the wrong child index because how that's how Internet Explorer works. There's actually two windows that exist here or processes or however you want to call it. If I change this to child index one, I believe it will still connect. Okay, it's connected, right? It would appear, so if I did this, get connected, okay. We would, it would appear as though we're good to go. The problem is, if you go and try to identify, let's wait, add an element, let's identify something on the page. Oh, look at that, now I can't for some reason. Huh. That's because we are connected to this outer sort of shell of Internet Explorer, and we can't identify anything inside the window because we need to connect to that. And that's why so I'm going to hold I'm going to hold control here. I'm going to right click to get out of the spy mode. Cancel this. So we're going to go back in here and change to child index 0. And that'll work. Now I could go actually and do process name IE explore I explore. Let's let's just do that and we'll we'll, um, we'll leave window title too. Let's make sure this works. Let's detach. Okay, and then we'll do this. Yep, we're connected, and let's verify that application modeler works. It does. Well, let's just verify. It would sometimes it'll throw an error there. If you get an error, I uh, forget what the name of the error is, but. You, generally, when you get an error, when you try to identify something and it won't bring up these attributes, that means that you're not connected to the right thing. We will, um, we're not going to publish attach right now because I'm not sure we'll need it from the process, but we are going to attach, uh, publish launch, published launch. Okay, we'll go ahead and close this and let's check on our error. Oh, the page reference does not acknowledge the input. Right. We need to make sure we acknowledge the input URL. Okay, page reference. Okay, now let's test this. Uh, we'll test it from here first, and then we'll go to the process. We'll run it fast and see how it does. Launch and attach. Okay. Then uh, we'll navigate to about, and we'll get the value. Okay, so that actually reminds me that when we call this, we need to get this value out of the action. So we're gonna add an output of mission value. We'll do a text data type and we'll get the value from so I don't type it wrong, I'll drag it in here. Okay, here we go, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. Let's check for errors. Uh, we're not using profile name. Let's put that in. I wasn't going to, but let's, let's throw it in here. Okay, remember we won't connect it until we're ready for it. We'll use text profile name. We're just going to verify that it is there. And if it's not, then it'll be profile name cannot be found. Profile name cannot be found. Okay. 
connect it in now. I'll link it in. The lines must be straight. Okay, good, let's test that actually. Make sure it works. All right, we're gonna wait for profile name to show up. Okay, I don't see any error. I guess it happened so fast. I didn't see it skip over. I didn't see it even reference the attach, but I'm sure it did. Look at that, attach, okay. All right, let's, uh, that means we have no errors now. Fantastic. Added intelligent weight on launch or profile name. Okay, now we have a reusable set of actions for this object that for now is, is limited to Dave the RPA guy's profile. But that's something that we can easily configure so that uh, it takes an input and it works for any profile. Well, what we've made in this video is the launch and attach actions that we needed for our object to finally move into Process Studio, which is what we'll be doing in the next video, which will be part five of this Monitor of Value series. So I look forward to seeing you then. And upload new video to YouTube. Click. All right. Oh, that must be my phone. Blue Prism, run process automation. Summon phone. Ah. Oh, look, Dave uploaded a new video. Subscribe.